I'm just reading the Gospel of Mary Magdalene, which I absolutely love. It's so deep and so filled with divine treasures. If we bother to dissect the language and uh, time period differences between then and now. Uh, in this Gospel, it says, there is no sin, it is you who make sin exist. This is a very intriguing passage. There is no sin, it is you who make sin exist. So here again is a confirmation of what I've been saying, that we are created in perfection. That everything in existence belongs to God's vibration and frequency, which is in its substance, divine love. And if everything in creation comes from this frequency of divine love from our creators, then we are also that frequency, as is everything around us. So it perfectly aligns with this teaching. There is no sin. It is you who make sin exist. If we are that purity, if we are that perfection, if we are that compassion, that embodiment of pure love that we are, the conscious state of our soul, then it's, what is it that's making sin exist? It's our choices, it's our illusions. Now in Sanskrit, we call this maya, this, this kind of illusion. It's as if our minds have been captivated and captured by a witch named maya, whose illusion, illusory powers are, you know, magnetically appealing us into something. And this is what the material energy does to us all day long. We're bombarded with non-stop distractions which take us from our centered soul self. So as we reflect upon these beautiful truths, let us be reminded of who we are in spirit. Let us embody that truth and let us rise into that kind of consciousness for that is the truth and everything else is a lie. That's our homework. <laughs> so mote it be in Radhe's name. God bless you all.